Tennessee comes out flying, gets a stop, gets a stop. It got two. I mean, Alabama with immediately a legal block in the back. It's penalties for Alabama. Good. It's a franchise, pro franchise, program record for penalties. That is almost impressive. Actually, it is impressive. But they get the three. They get the the Alabama gets an easy first down and then goes three and out, no yards game. Uh, immediately, here comes Tennessee marches down the field. Jabari Small one r- yard run, and we're like, oh. Okay, Tennessee's here. Let's get it going. This is going to be a game. Back comes Alabama. You knew they were going to. Jameer Gibbs, eight-yard run. Jameer Gibbs, here's a crazy thing about Alabama. And I'm not talking about NFL success uh, because, obviously, there's a couple names involved there. But out of the starting running backs at Alabama over the last, let's say, since Mark Ingram to now, Brian Robinson was the was still good, but he was the worst one at Alabama, and he's starting games in the NFL. Like that's nuts, right? So he, but Jameer Gibbs, he, shifty as all hell today. He made a he made the Tennessee defense look foolish on some plays. Um, but he marches it in. But here comes Tennessee right back. Jalen Hyatt, our player of the game, thirty-eight yard touchdown pass from Hendon Hooker. What a throw that was! Like Hendon Hooker, he had a he had. I I know we're we're choppy, but I just have so many thoughts about this game because it was a fifty-two to forty-nine game. Hendon Hooker had a great first half, struggled in the second half. He threw the the one pick, um, which he doesn't do. Broke what the third longest streak without a touchdown, according to the CBS broadcast. Um, uh, they had the fumble on the exchange. That Alabama ran in for a touchdown, and I thought that's when the game. I thought that was game. Um, obviously, it wasn't because um, I was like, okay, Tennessee's going to go down and score, but they're not going to be able to stop Alabama. But that final drive, he made a couple um, awesome, awesome throws. He's firmly in the Heisman conversation. Firmly in the Heisman conversation, and Virginia Tech stinks, so that's got to sting. Uh, he won't. He wouldn't be doing this there with. Who's their coach now? Brent Pry, the Penn State D coordinator. Um, but man, he he made the couple throws, and I don't know how that kick went through. But we'll get there. We'll get there. We'll get there. Um, okay, I've got a couple comments I want to get to. Bama fans said, "Oh, we Tennessee didn't want none. Who are the ones who don't want any now?" I'm sure Bama fans want another. Are we got another game? I won another game. Um, that was fun as heck, or fun as hell. This screw it, fun as hell. Um, that's the only way to put that game. Uh, <laughs> that was man. I just love this sport so much. Um, I'm sure they won another game. But any anyone who actually thought Tennessee would get blown out or whatever in this game, whatever. Uh, now that Tennessee beat Bama. Do you think Tennessee will beat Georgia? In Sanford, I'm going to say no right now. But it's not one of those no's where I'm like, it's like, hey, do you think the Jets could beat the Chiefs? It's like, no, they're not beating the Chiefs. It's like, no, I don't think they're going to win, but would I be st- – I'd put it like 60-40 right now. I think that's going to be another great game. Another great four-hour CBS game in a couple weeks. <laughs> I was at the Tennessee-Georgia game last year. That was not a good game. Anyway, and then – Tennessee forces a punt, holding – again, the theme of penalties keeps coming in. A hold – wait, put that back up. Uh, a holding on Alabama brings it back. They can't get anything going. They punt, and here comes the Vols right down again. Touchdown, Jalen Hyatt, his second of the game. <laughs> He's just getting started. Uh, and Tennessee goes up 21-10, to 10, and – if you're an Alabama fan, you're probably thinking, okay, Tennessee's offense is moving, but there's no reason we can't get back into this game. The defense was bad today for Alabama, and I don't think I'm sugarcoating anything. The defense wasn't good for Tennessee either, but they did get one more stop um, than the Vols did. But this is the first time I really questioned Nick Saban today. And, I, you know, 
with Tennessee's offense, it's kind of hard to be like, oh, Nick Saban did this, Nick Saban could have done that. Like, I don't think he managed. When's the last time Tennessee went? Uh, just making sure on audio. Uh, I don't think Nick had a like a bad game or anything. I wasn't like, Nick Saban, what are you doing? But there were two things he did today, or that the Alabama team did today, that I didn't quite understand. First one, this field goal. I drove all the way down. They had fourth and goal at the two-yard line. The two. Tennessee's already got three touchdowns. We're still in the first quarter. Or no, we're, we're early. Well, at this point, we're early in the first quarter, uh, second quarter. But Tennessee had scored three touchdowns in the first quarter. <coughs> you weren't stopping them. Why are you kicking a field goal? You not think your team – you don't think Bryce Young with the m- magic he pulled today in some of these plays – I mean, that last sack at the end of the game, it took, what, like four, four Tennessee rushers to finally bring the guy to the ground, and you kick a field goal? Hmm. Hope it didn't come back to bite him. 